Airbus Chief Technology Officer says Shenzhen is the next Silicon Valley. Speaking exclusively to Bloomberg's Avon man, Paul Aramenko told us about possible tie-ups with Chinese tech companies such as Baidu and plans to make flying cars a reality. The goal of, of our innovation centers, uh, in contrast to the research and development that we do back in Europe, uh, in, the, in the core of the business, is much more to look on the outside uh, and to see what ideas, what are the emerging, uh, emerging trends, emerging technologies, emerging business models. Um, what does the talent, the local talent pool, what are the ideas that it has to bring to the table? And try to pull those in and make them applicable to, uh, to our particular technology roadmaps to build the, uh, the future generations of products. So uh, I think that it's kind of an open, it's an open door, um, right? So we're not prescriptive about uh, you must work on just this handful of topics. Um, but we certainly have a few that we are already uh, trying to pursue out of the gate. Um, so just to give you a couple of examples, uh, one of them is uh, autonomy. Um, so greater, uh, greater automation uh, uh, in the cockpit. Um, in particular, I think this is, this is quite relevant for China because uh, there is already and anticipated to be an even more acute shortage of pilots. Um, and uh, so some, some estimates suggest that in the next 20 years we have to train 600,000 pilots. And just to put that number in perspective, since the dawn of aviation, since the Wright brothers, there have only been 200,000 pilots trained. Wow. <laughs> right? So, so it's a tall order. Yeah. Uh, and so I think the conventional wisdom would say, uh, well, we need better training aids. We need to uh, uh, widen the pipeline uh, of pilots. And, and yes, absolutely, we should do that. But at the same time, kind of a more disruptive approach is also to say, well, maybe we can actually reduce uh, the, the crew needs. Uh, for our future aircraft. So we are pursuing single pilot operation as a, as a, as a potential option. Um, and a lot of the technologies needed to make that happen also put us on the path towards uh, unpiloted uh, operation. First of smaller vehicles like urban air mobility, our Vahana, our city airbus, yep. uh, things that might carry one to four passengers, uh, but ultimately also for large commercial aircraft. So that's one topic that the Innovation Center is, is jumping on. Uh, I mentioned also urban air mobility, yep. uh, which of course we flying see. Flying cars, flying taxis. Uh, that's right, air, kind of the air taxi model, uh, which is enabled by electric propulsion. And, uh, and the ability to make these vehicles quiet, uh, safe, efficient, uh, very cost effective from an operation, operating cost perspective. Um, and and uh, new business models associated with that, like on-demand dispatch, sort of Uber or DD, uh, DD style.